Hey guys, I'm back, and today I'm going to show you how to make uh, electrical tape trench coats for your and capes for your Lego minifigures. So, pretty much all we're going to do is make a cape like this, which is essentially just almost like how Lego's capes are. It's the same shape, pretty much, but this is made from electrical tape. Pretty. So, I'm going to show you what I do. For it. So some examples of figures with these capes are my Batman and Superman here. These are both made out of electrical tape. And on these guys. And uh, the cape I just showed you is actually off my Batfleck minifigure. So what you're going to need to do this. First off, some electrical tape. You're going to need an X-Acto knife. You're going to need a pair of scissors. And you're going to need a hole punch. So that should be all you need now oh and you'll need a sheet of just regular computer paper so first thing is you're going to choose a corner on your computer paper so I'm going to use this corner down here and what I'm going to do is just cut this paper in half to make it easier to work with so I've now made this paper smaller because I'm just using this corner right here now what you're going to do is take about six pieces of tape you're going to cut them to be about this size and what you're going to do is choose that that corner that you chose you're going to lay them down onto the paper onto one side so I'm going to do this pretty sloppily because it's for the video but uh, as you can see I now have a piece of tape in the corner of this paper so what I'm going to do now is take another piece and put it right next to it. And then after that I'm going to take the last piece and put it on top. So now on this piece of paper I have these three pieces of electrical tape on this one side layered over each other and when you do this you can do this a lot slower and like make sure they're all straight and all so then what you're gonna do is turn the paper over to the opposite side but to the same corner where the tape is on the other side so you see here's the tape so now I'm gonna put more tape on this corner doing the exact same thing so uh, I'm gonna turn it actually like this now to make sure the tapes are going the same direction so this is the corner where the tape is on the other side so I'm going to do the exact same thing and coat this side with tape and the reason I put the sheet of computer paper is because electric tape is a pain to use when you're trying to stick tape to tape if I didn't have the paper here you'd be trying to stick sticky to sticky with the tape and that is not fun to do so and again when you're doing this you can do this a lot neater and make it look a lot better I'm simply doing this kind of rushed and half-assed for the tutorial because you know so now I have a sheet of paper with a corner on both sides with a couple pieces of electrical tape so now what you're gonna do is take your scissors again and just cut around this pretty much So now you're done with the paper completely. And you're left with this. So what you're going to do with this now is trim it up. So what I'm going to do is just go along around it and cut off the excess paper and the excess tape that's sticking off the sides and uh, pretty much just make a little rectangle of uh, tape. So you can see I just cut off that and I'm going to go down here. Now I just cut that off so now it's there and now this side's pretty good I'm gonna just go ahead and see if I can snip off this little bit of paper and then this right here and once you have that as well you can take your X-Acto knife and you can trim it up a bit more too so as you can see, I have this pretty much a rectangle or square shape of electrical tape. 
So now what you're going to do is essentially make this into this. And what that means is you're going to, and what I would recommend doing is taking an official Lego cape and just tracing that shape onto this with a pencil or like a sharpie or something and then like cutting that shape out. I'm just going to eyeball this one. So what I would recommend, again, just restate, say this was an official Lego cape, put this on top of this, trace the shape, and then cut that out. So as you can see, I'm just eyeballing it. It will look something like this, first off, the round corners. And then I'm going to go in the center, and cut like a little line to divide it. And then I'm going to round off these other corners. So now it looks like this. Kind of did a bad job. But again, I'm just eyeballing it. When you do this, be sure that you're actually like tracing and taking your time. So now it looks like this. So this is pretty much a cape. And the idea is that we'll fold it over like this. And this will form the cape. So now what you're going to do is take your hole puncher. And simply line it up to what looks centered. To the little holes that you just made or what you just cut out and the hole punch may take uh, a little finessing because it doesn't like to go through the electrical tape all the time sometimes you may have to like take some scissors and finish the hole yourself but you should have something like this this is a very sloppy one but this is in in practice what it should basically look like then you can take a figure and just drape that over the uh... and it may take some finessing too you may have to cut some more and all because it might not be perfect on the first try and it doesn't even look like this cape's wanting to go on but that's also because I did not try very hard on this cape. There we go. So this is a very bad cape, but essentially that's what you're doing. So now you'll have this cape that fits like this. Now, in order to make a trench coat, you would do the exact same thing. So I'm actually going to... Uh, you can actually make this into a trench coat if you want. Essentially what you're going to do is just make it a smaller rectangle by cutting that off so now you have this and then you're just gonna take your hole punch again and uh, first you would wrap this around the torso so if I just uh, here then we are, let me grab the other Batman figure real quick and rip off his arms so what you would do is wrap this around the torso like that and you would mark where the holes are so what I'm just gonna do so what I just did was I took my exacto knife and I just poked a hole through into the arm hole where I, so I can mark the arm then I'm gonna go back with my hole puncher and about where those marks are I'm gonna punch two holes And again, this is a very sloppy, quick version. If you want to do this to look good, take your time. Measure like don't me like you don't have to measure, but like make sure things look good before you do it. And then once you have your holes, you go back to your torso and you just wrap it around and plug the arms back in. I'm trying to plug the arms back in. Sorry about the weight. And uh, there you go. So now you have like a little coat. And again, very sloppy, but you when you do this, take your time, make sure everything lines up. And uh, it comes out like this. So now you may see the white line. What you do now is either paint that 
paint this whatever color you want and if you're going to keep it black just like paint the edge black so in the, again the computer paper is only there to make it easier to attach the tape to each other because so you want both sides to be taped so yeah that is it for this video uh, sorry if you didn't follow very well but that's what I do I just take a piece of paper coat two sides in electrical tape cut out the rectangle and then based on what you want you either make it like a Lego cape or you make it another rectangle and, po two, and punch two holes in the side of it so that is it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope this helps you because I know a lot of people have been asking me how to make these electrical tape capes and trench coats um, please let me know down in the comments what video you would like next. Would you like to see my Giant Man V2 build? Or would you like to see a Lego Deadshot minifigure, not from Suicide Squad, but from my Batman Villain series that I made? So let me know in the comments would you rather see Giant Man or a Deadshot minifigure. Let me know, and I'll see you guys in my next video.